This is Mike Dyer. I'm here with uh, Ryan Ernst, and we're here on Cincinnati.com High School Sports Blog. And Ryan, what were your impressions of Week One in Kentucky? It was Week One. It was uh, it was Week Two, but it was Week One because Kentucky starts with a Week Zero for some schools. So last week it was a uh, second game for a lot of a lot of teams, but it was uh, Week One. The, the game that obviously everybody uh, was talking about was going to be Ryan Highlands, uh, number one versus number two. Highlands number one, um, and. Uh, I think you know both coaches, like like they told me after the game, you know walked away a little disappointed in their team's performance. You know, luckily for for area fans, they'll get to play, they'll get to see that game again in week ten. Um, it's the second year in a row those teams have played twice in the regular season. Um, Highlands win extended their win streak to thirty games, which was uh, set a new school record. Uh, the old the old record of twenty nine was set back it set back in the eighties. Uh, now they've got uh, eight more games to go, uh, straight wins to to match Beachwood's Northern Kentucky record that was set in the nineties. Um, now, if you want to look further down the road, uh, the state record belongs to Trinity. That was set between the late 80s, early 90s. It was 50 straight. Highlands wouldn't get to that until sometime next season, but they got to keep winning first. Sounds like you did a little bit of research, Ryan. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. What, what do you think both teams took from uh, that matchup, and knowing that they play each other later in the season? I think I think the, the one thing that, that Ryle takes from it is, you know, for, for, for one half they matched Highlands, and, and they outplayed them, um, which – no teams have really been able to say the last few years here, especially not Northern Kentucky. They, they haven't been able to outplay Highlands. Um, and, and for a half, they were more physical than them. Uh, they were just as athletic. Um, and, 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 you know, they had a halftime lead. And, and um, Highlands, you know, the thing they can take away from it is they took a good punch from Ryle and they came right back. Um, so, you know, so obviously they, they both take some positives away from that game. We'll see how that translates, uh, you know, eight weeks down the road. Who's your MVP this week? I understand Bellevue as a standout player. Yeah, DJ Slater had a, had a great game for Bellevue. I think coming into the season, that was um, one of those positions that where everybody was looking because Ricky Buckler had graduated last year. He'd set all kinds of uh, rushing records at the school. And so Slater, being a senior, was stepping into to, uh, some pretty big shoes to fill. And he's done a great job so far. Uh, he led them to, to a big win over Newport. Um, another kid that's kind of stuck out is, is uh, Cy Smith, the, the quarterback at, at, at Connor, who's also a senior. It's a very similar situation. He stepped into where Nick's, Nick West um, departed last year. He's now at UC, and Cy Smith has just done a great job. He's led him to two straight wins, and he's put up numbers similar to what Nick West put up. And I don't know if it's, if it's the offense or it's the player. I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, he's an athletic kid with a good arm just like Nick West was, and he's, he hasn't really missed a beat so far. You know, we're really starting to get an indication of where these teams stand now that we're in a couple weeks into the season. Uh, what, what are some of your expectations uh, for this week? Um, let's, we got a couple, a couple uh, decent games coming up. Uh, Highlands and Beachwood is, is a game that you know are, are two of the, the, the bigger name programs in Northern Kentucky this year. I think Highlands is, is that much of a favorite where it won't be um, the game that it could be some years. Uh, Simon Kent and Dixie would be a, a good game. Uh, no longer a district game, at least not this year. Um, but that's still that's still a big game. See how Simon Kenton bounces back from a loss to Middletown. Um, you know, it, last week there were some surprises. So I mean, there's there a lot to live up to. You know, we were talking earlier about you know Boone County um, came up with a big, big, big win down in, in Lexington against Henry Clay. Henry Clay had been ranked third in the state preseason by the coaches, according to the Courier Journal. Um, and so I think that was a, a game that probably shocked some people in Northern Kentucky. I think. The, the 6A district in Northern Kentucky was starting to look like it's going to be Ryan, Simon, Kenton, and then everybody else. Well, not so fast. Boone County um, proved last week that they can play with some pretty good teams and beat some really good teams. So that might be more than just a two-horse race, so we'll see as, as the season progresses. Great. Where are we going to see you at this, this weekend? I think I will be at uh, Beachwood Highlands. Excellent. And do you have a pick, pick for this week? Uh, you know, it's, it's um, you know, if I had to pick that game, it's, it's probably an easy pick. I'll take Highlands. Uh, a little maybe tougher pick would be Simon Kenton against Dixie, and I think I'd have to probably go Simon Kenton in a close one. Excellent. Thanks for all your insight today, Ryan. Thanks.